Today we will make stick figures. As you can see, I have two stick figures down here. We're just going to make them small and bring them down. There are about there are three shapes or four shapes that we use. The first one is a circle. Now I've already defaulted this to the black. The next shape is the rounded corners. And I just round them up. I'm going to bring him up a little higher so I can work with them big. In order to get this little triangle shape down here, I inserted a triangle. I'm going to make it blue so that I can see the triangle and where I want it. So take a uh, left click the round part and then let and then shift down and left click the triangle. Come to format, merge going to go all the way to subtract and that gave me the little um, neckline. The next thing we're going to do is add another one of these. This will be the arm. You can make the arm as long as you want, short as you want. Control C, Control V. We will need two more of these for the legs. So I'm just control V. They're already over there. Try to make this go out as much as possible so he doesn't have too broad of shoulders. The next shape I chose was this one. Trapezoid. I don't want too much of an angle on it. Bring down the legs. And then we're going to put pant legs on him. So, did the trapezoid again, copy paste. Copy. Paste, control C, control V. Do you want them to come together a little bit? I will angle them a little. And then make sure you don't have this back shape causing problems or coming out so that you can see it. Just mess around with those a little bit. I want longer legs, and his whole body is just too big. So proportion, just move them out, move them up. And if you shift down while all of those are highlighted or selected, you can bring it a little smaller and then readjust the shoulders and the arms. Looks like the shoulders are too big. Okay, let's do the woman. Copy, paste. We want the same shoulder. Neckline, you can do whatever neckline you want. You could make it square if you wanted to. Just get find the, um, the trapezoid and turn that upside down. Okay, we're going to make her dress a little bit skinnier there. Then we do want two of these. So there's one. And you can proportion them the way that you want. And have her arms go. You could have it go in front of her and behind her. Then I need another leg. So I am just control V on these. 
actually did control C on that one. Bring your skirt down a little bit. If she thinks she needs a little longer legs. Well, that's your idea of, of a girl, um, generic girl. Uh, sometimes I like to add hair. So I put a little bit of, this is the cloud. And you can copy and paste that and put some at the side. There's, okay, there's your girl. Everything looks a little bit big for me for the head. So I'm just going to make it a teeny bit smaller. And her shoulders do look a little large, so bring those in. But you play with it and and to get the shape that you want. All right. So the next thing, if you want, two ways that you can recolor these is you can highlight, not highlight, select all of them and find a color. Now, you'll see the where your uh, lines are in the black. You can actually outline them in yellow. No, yeah, outline them in yellow. That gives you gives you the uh, idea that you do not have an edge or we're going to reverse this. You can select all of it and format merge and union and I will do that to her hair too union so with the guy his arms a little too big for me I'm just going to select all of them format and merge the shapes. Now the head won't be merged with it, but it does end up going with it. So with the curl, I didn't do all of it. So I need to go ahead and select both and control G. So now we can change the color and still have the black outline. If you want to have an arm raised, I'm going to bring him over since he is. I'm going to un to to group to ungroup them all, and I need to do it several times because I've got several layers of groups grouping. Turn his arm up. Mm -hmm. He's You can put a flag in his hand, or he's waving hello to somebody. Anyway, there's our generic people, stick figures.